Hi guys, Romans here and welcome to another reaction video. For those of you who are new to this channel, a little bit of introduction. I make these reaction videos from a viewpoint of a musician, as I am a singer, songwriter and a bass player for my group Yakube. Heavy prog rock without guitars but with saxophone. You're gonna wanna check it out, all the links to my music are in the description of this video below. But I'm also a music nerd, meaning that I listen to an unhealthy amount of music, like two to three hundred records per year, and that's basically my added value considering how many people do these reaction videos. Usually I'm reacting to new songs from the bands that I love, but I'm also doing these videos reacting to simply anything I haven't heard before. That's kind of the point because usually on this channel I talk about the music I'm very familiar with, so this puts me in a very different position in a way. I'm also taking suggestions, so if you want to suggest something just shoot me a comment. Everything so far was from yesterday reaction video. Hence the new t-shirt, you know, even though it's red as well. Yesterday I made a reaction video for Rammstein, but that video was blocked on YouTube and I didn't want all of that work to go in vain, so I decided to kind of reuse it. So we've got a new song from Pink Floyd and this is kind of a big thing, you know, five years ago I was part of the Pink Floyd show and you can find a link to that gig in the description of this video below. I sang and played bass, one of the highlights in my life. I also made a worst to best video of their discography on my YouTube channel, so I'm a huge fan of Pink Floyd. And them releasing a new song kind of reminds me of what System of a down did like a year ago where they also wanted to raise some money for Armenian people but there have no they have no plans to release a new album it's probably the same thing for Pink Floyd I'm kind of late to this song because it was released yesterday haven't heard it yet basically the point is to raise some money for Ukraine but at the same time to spread the message you know I live in eastern part of Slovakia and literally the war is like maybe 150 200 kilometers away from me and that's unbelievable it's unbelievable that in 21st century we have we have a war we've got Nick Mason and and David Gilmore from the original Pink Floyd here and there's also Guy Pratt who was uh, in Pink Floyd basically since Roger Waters left and there's also Andriy Klivnyuk not sure if I pronounced his name right from Ukrainian band Boombox so I don't really know what to expect but I'm very very excited this is basically the first new material from well 1994 actually because 2014's Endless River was really just some leftover from the division bell you know so okay let's listen to it I'm I'm really, really interested in what this is going to be like. Hmm. Still unbelievable. Beautiful. It's beautiful. The power of music. I gotta say, it's got a little bit of that folkish vibe. It's actually more reminiscent of like Slavic folk music rather than of Pink Floyd, but uh, that just strengthens the authenticity and what it's actually aimed at. <laughs> Vocals like from the dark side of the moon. Beautiful.
that it is pretty unmistakable. You know, uh, I gotta confess that I've been kind of staying away from all the information about war in the last couple of weeks because it's just too much, you know? So, uh, yeah, I, I think that the quality of the actual song is irrelevant. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's the message that matters. And I think that this is a great example, just like with System of Down, that music is still a huge vehicle for change. And, you know, this is, this is the best a musician like David Gilmour or, or, or a band like Pink Floyd can do. And, you know, some people may say, oh, why, don't, why doesn't he just send money? He's got a lot of it. But, you know, making a song like this also spreads the message. So, um, yeah, I think it's, it's a beautiful gesture. And, yeah, let's just hope that the war will end. Okay, so if you're a fan of Pink Floyd, or even if you're not, and if you heard the song, just let me know in the comment section below how did you like the song. You can follow me on Facebook or on Instagram. You can find links to both in the description of this video below. You can also find there a link to my Spotify playlist, which I'm updating every two weeks. And I'm, I put their stuff I'm listening to at a given time. It's a very diverse and colorful list, and I think you will find a lot of new, unknown, and great artists so be sure to check it out also if you like this video don't forget to like to share to subscribe you can check out my own original music my live performances my very popular worst to best series and a lot of other videos reviews and whatnot as well thanks a lot for watching